mind. This is Norway. I have made this um, bubble bracelet in stretch cord and I thought I would make it just a little bit like so it's um so it's quite um, uh, organic but, so I don't I don't want to count the bubble the bubble beads that's what I call them between but I figured that I could make it with you and um, because I needed to have some some of these um, with the big holes in so that I can have that over the knot at each side and um, and then I figured I needed you know it looked a little bit weird so I would need to restring it needless to say because of mostly because of this side so and this is all from the bargain bead box February 2022 so I'm not not just gonna yeah, well, don't do that. Then you don't get to be in, in the, on the bracelet, you know? <laughs> so, um, okay, I'm going to put this here. And what you will need is, um, you can have any clasp you want. I'm using, I think this is, this is a 0.8 millimeter. And it's just a, not, not, a, not a specific brand. It's a Chinese stuff. And uh, I just like to stretch it before I um, put all the beads on and uh, I have a video to tell me why <laughs> it just uh, so I just stretch it before so it so it's um, pre-stretch pre-stretch so you, you will get once it's done and you you use it it will have that um, it will have that shape but you know, of course, in six or seven years, if it's hanging on uh, something, I have a few examples on how they would look then. But um, that's been very heavy bracelets too. I have had a couple of them that I actually I used every day for um, uh, at least two years. Uh, that was stretch bracelet with um, eight millimeter stones. And um, and and that was perfect. But that now I now it's more like that. I had a few of those um, those shell beads in there too, and they just got kind of matte from wear and tear. And my I guess my bodily fluids. Sorry to be so graphic, but you know it is what it is. So <clears throat> so I I don't I don't mind using this. I think it's a very nice way of actually using jewelry i like it to be easy on and easy off and and wearable and not i mean there's uh, there's a level of discomfort you have with the mascara too but you know if you can take that you can definitely use this you know but you don't have to have them too too small that's not oh gosh that's 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 just a pain you know <laughs> <laughs> then you have to find something that you're quitting so you can go and you know snap it all day or something so I lost one on the floor and I think I'm gonna have a few here I you know all the boxes and lids that's why I go crazy over boxes and lids and stuff because they're so nice to use I can have something in them and I, and I usually need them all the time too, so <clears throat> that's at least what I'm telling myself. So I will now start with um, with this one, and I will just I will just um, I was thinking I was trying to think here um, <laughs> for a second, and I think I will make a knot just because then it won't. You know go so much back and forth it will it will it will be kind of like it will um, stress the same place or try not to stress it at all you know like more I'm going to make a knot here you don't have to and I didn't on the last one but I'm gonna make a double knot and I'm going to use glue and um, and have that not go into um, into a big hole 
whole spacer bead. It could be, uh, you know, if these were big enough holes on, you could just have those, but I'm, I'm thinking I like a little bit of, a little bit of uh, silver here at the end, either way, so, and none of these have big holes, so. So, I will now put this on the boat, both of them. Uh, both the strands and then I'll take the glue on later because it's stretch cord and I just stretch it out a little bit put on some glue <coughs> in here and then let it snap back and you know do its thing while, while I go to bed I guess because it's in the middle of the night here <laughs> but I have had I've, I've had my most um, most uh, productive uh, beading sessions at night. So now the, the trick is to not try to count, you know, thinking I'm gonna make it look weird. <laughs> so if you have to count, make it eight on one side and then five on the other maybe. Or you can do like I do, just talk and then not watch what you're doing. Maybe that will work. <laughs> and I'm going there. I know for one thing. You could do one strand and then just weave it in <clears throat> afterwards. But um, because but this, this is not going in the big... I can't get this twice in through this. At least not by stringing. So, and I'm not gonna... gonna I love this one. I know how much it, <laughs> how long it lasts. I know how to handle it, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so um, I will work with the, the fact that it's got, some diameter, and so I can't just get it in, through the, through the. What's it called? It's the agates. The, it's it's usually the gemstones. So. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I don't know, maybe, but that wasn't, that didn't look good on the other. I'm gonna go a little further. And since I, you know, since this is, it would be easy to just count, right? Right, but I don't want that. So then I have to do it differently. And then I go this way, you could definitely go through the other and have it be more you know, go more out to the sides, but that's not what I want either. I mean, see, it's starting to get uh, very like, but um, I don't want it symmetric. I've said that now, anyways. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing? I hope you're well. Um, I hope that that you're safe and. I'm not talking about COVID anymore. I don't know if that's um, the issue now. It's not here in Europe, but um, I just do what I usually do. I just bead and then try to calm down with that. <laughs> and uh, then I bead some more. So, well, I was just um, looking and watching um, Thinking about, um, you know, because uh, other places there's been a lot of things that's been online during COVID, and uh, and I just wondered, have you noticed uh, any any COVID uh, YouTubers that's just gone? Because I tried to think about it and see if I kind of forget and know about someone I haven't seen for a while, and I was gonna look them up, and I do have a couple of them that I want to check up but I'm not gonna say anything because I don't know if they're on or if they're just maybe they're back to work you know I don't know and some have taken completely off now this is can you see I'm doing the same you know our brains are meant for patterns so <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm putting on two more. Oh, yeah, I ordered um, 
from uh, you know um Rebecca from uh, Diane Adorn I'm sorry that you know it's just too hard to say at this hour <laughs> but um um she she tipped you know as all on my line on her channel uh, about bead ventures um was it um Valentine's sale so I ordered 16 pounds <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to it I think it's gonna be a lot of cool stuff maybe a little bit too too much of the southwest or something I don't know but where do things have become to use here in this house um, and often Often, you know, I, you know, I realized that sometimes I just, oh, like this one, you know, oh, it was not available after all, it's under there. But it's like, uh, I bought this like 10 years ago and, and I haven't found anything to use it to until now. And that's, and I thought I never would use it. Like, and not, and, and some things are like, oh, is that what it's for? And I've hoarded it, you know, just because it was on sale. Well, that was what I how I managed to quit smoking. I bought beads every day and I borrowed the dog and... You know. So then I sorted the beads and then I started with the beads again. Like again since childhood, so... So there you go. It's a bit different. So I'm just making it a bigger loop. So this is how you can make a pattern. I'm showing you how to make a pattern without making a pattern. So, yes. Well, I really love these deep purples. I mean, you really can't go wrong with them. Because, um, you know, they're so deep that they, they just add something to anything. And um, I would love to have some of them. I think I've used them up because I remember that's a long time ago when I when when the bicons were not just Swarovski when they came from China to eBay, <laughs> and you know you could buy them for a dollar or something and uh, and make um, make bracelets and stuff with seed beads, of course. That was those were the days. So I think that was like. 2014 or something like that and I, uh, I I continued with that until I remember the super duos coming so I made a bell and you know like a Christmas tree and stuff but uh, that was that was it no more extra holes for us you know <laughs> you just you better thread your 15 um, fifth number 15 needle and and pass through where you're supposed to or other otherwise you make another <laughs> you make another path I'm talking about things like remember the old days well I do remember things were different and um, and that's just cool but you know now that I see pieces made with the you know you have the left pukas and the right puka <laughs> I mean the stash you're gonna have to have you know I mean as if we as if we don't need every color anyway but I guess it's just um, like I said it's just we need something anyway so I guess it's no more big of a deal to buy some lentils and multiple holes they they cover bigger room too so i don't know i kind of like i'm on the stringing now i've been there because before like when i well since the pandemic actually but i haven't um, made things more than one and a half year which is uh, which has been awesome i mean i've used bargain bead box and maybe three of them and stuff <laughs> it's been an easy way to do stuff um, I recognize that to take things further I need to be more intentional and stuff 
I just want to show you, I have so many show and tells, but I just want to show you something from, from, um, one I made from, from Sam's beadbox. It's, uh, it's really, it's really stark in the colors and, uh, I don't know, but it's so awesome and it looks so good in person. But I, I had it on like a, like a bracelet. But I don't think that these glass bead will, will handle my my day to day, <laughs> you know, doing of stuff. I don't know, but I like it when you can have it being wrapped and use it as a bracelet. I mean, as a necklace. So, but basically, I I I took some um, six o silver lined to get some earring to here because. You know the, the the colors are really stark, so I just figured, you know, to get something. But they are so gorgeous. Have you seen these? These are just, I mean, the camera is not doing them justice. It's like I can see that the 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 color have uh, haven't melted quite yet into the glass. It's just, it's gorgeous. So, but. Um, but it is, I, 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 I don't know, that's one style and then, you know, it's a little bit different to make, um, make things with, um, I find, to make things with, um, with, with, with check and, uh, and, uh, you know, only very expensive beads and stuff. It, and and they have a different look and it just becomes different at least it is for now so i don't know maybe i'm just in a transition phase and that's cool and the, the coolest thing of all if is if i grow as a you know as that my design is getting cooler but it seems like i'm getting to i'm um, more of a I'm doing more of um you know that that teacher school that taught you to to knit and stuff didn't they always wear uh those colors like orange and and <laughs> and purple and you know they're good on the color wheel I get it you know uh, definitely but um but um yeah it just it, it just lacks that that special kind of green. <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys uh, have that experience, but um, but I do. So I have a, a little bit aversion to it. Although I think I love that ne necklace. I I do know where the color combination was. You know where I can see that each and every time. If you go to the stores too, where they sell fabric that are really, really expensive, you see um, those colors of beads in wood and uh, long sweaters. <laughs> Just, ay, ay, ay. Uh, so, well, then I, I will challenge myself to not make it look like that, especially since I. I don't particularly like it, so now I'm gonna be a little bit um, intentional here, cause I think then if I have um, <laughs> now you say <laughs> uh, first I just um, ruin it, and then I think maybe yeah, may I think maybe I have a little shortish shortage of the of the. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Let's just go further. So, but that's the longest one. Then I take the shortest one. Don't know why. But yes, because I wanted the long one to have the stone on. Why would I, you know, skimp on the cement? I mean, my house will go under. I mean, I could. So, um... <laughs> And um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I haven't um, checked out how long it is, but I've been very generous with the bubble beads. 
I am. Um, I did actually have uh, wire wrapped as many as this, and that was really <laughs> just. I, I just. This is this is so that I can. Um, I, this is gonna be like a good, good um, practice for my wrapping, you know. But um, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. I don't know. I think that I have enough of different things to and to make um, strong enough simple loops so that I don't have to so that I really don't have to wire wrap them, but you know, I just learn, you know, not learn the wire wrap, but I'm doing more with wire now, so mm. girls gotta grow, right? <laughs> so I think um, thinking I'm gonna keep. Oh, I'm getting very many. I was gonna have additional three. Well, there you go. My mouth is running in. I'm not paying attention. Well, that is just fine with me. And then I'll have one so I won't have that. Just, I could just add another, another, you know, strand with the stretch cord. And now it is important for me to <laughs> Pay attention so I don't, you know, spoil it like I did on that other video. Because that was funny after all that. And I'm gonna, I'm going to master the stretch cord and then boing, after an hour of doing stuff. Okay. I might, um, measure this. And, um, I'm thinking I'm at... You know we're at seven here now, and um, and it's a stretch bracelet, so so it's uh, it doesn't have to. You know, so it will stretch, but it has to fit though, so I don't stretch it too much, cause then the whole shape and design will go. And um, mm -hmm. okay, well if if I'm gonna end it here with the. When I have, I'm just gonna, I have to end it now. And uh, let's try that. I know probably all of you says, well, it's my wrist because, you know, I hear every YouTuber say, uh, my wrist is so small. Like, really? So why are we saying that the average is seven and a half when every woman I hear talk about their wrists? are saying they're like uh, five and four and <laughs> not four maybe <laughs> but a little bit more so and then I'm gonna just take an you know since I'm gonna glue this with a gel glue would be fine that's hypo cement or like a, a cement is that really a, a gel glue I do mm, maybe think it is well, anywho, just um, I'm just stretching it good in the knot as well. And uh, since this was not just three times a normal over, that's good because I didn't do the double here. And this will not be noticeable here at all. And. Um, and then for me it will fit perfectly but um you know <laughs> i thought i was gonna have more of these but oh that would be nice i'm gonna count some other project and do this but anyway this is a simple way to to make this and you know if um if you don't if uh, you don't know how to put it on the clasp you can always use just the stretch and make sure that it is that it is really together before you before you end it and before you tie it off because 
otherwise it will just be like sloppy and you know but that was the project so um you know if you think I thought I was babbling too much I totally understand just put it on mute because you will see it anyway and um, um, like and subscribe please and um, I hope to see you in the next one have a good one this is Norway signing out for now